In this presentation, we will discuss the DHIS2 community and overall development of the platform. In particular, we will look at some of the features in the community that allow us to collaborate and communicate together. In this presentation, we will review the development team that contributes to the overall DHIS2 platform, the relative release cycles of the various DHIS2 versions, different collaboration platforms that are used to work on DHIS2 together, avenues of communication that can be used to communicate with other individuals using DHIS2, and potential ways to contribute to DHIS2. The development of DHIS2 is not just in one location. There is a global development team that contributes to its various features and functionality. This includes many of the HISP nodes that are distributed throughout various regions. We can see an example of some of these nodes on this page. DHIS2 follows a release cycle in which there are three releases per year. This means that three versions of DHIS2 are typically released throughout the year. This typically occurs in February, June, and October. You're not required to upgrade to the latest version each time it is released, as the last three versions are fully supported. You can have a full look at the roadmap in the link located below by downloading this presentation. There are some different platforms on DHIS2 that are used to collaborate together. First we have the Continuous Integration Server. In this particular location, we can download various versions of DHIS2 in order to test them in our own systems and use them in our own implementations. There's also the GitHub platform, which is used to commit various code to DHIS2. We can see an example of some of the features that are available for review within GitHub. Recently, we have also switched over to the JIRA platform in order to track issues and document new features. You can see here that we have a number of new issues that are being discussed actively on this platform. We of course also have the overall project homepage. The DHIS2.org website has a lot of additional information about the platform, and it's suggested that you have a look at this website in order to learn more about the platform itself. There are also various mechanisms that can be used to communicate regarding various issues within DHIS2. DHIS2 has its own set of mailing lists that can be used to discuss certain issues. It's always a good idea to sign up to this mailing list to understand some of the issues that are occurring in real implementations, and also to ask questions about your own implementations as well. We can do this by accessing the Launchpad page and joining the team. There's also an expert community within DHIS2. You can view this on the DHIS2.org webpage. This has a list of various experts within various regions of the world. We can contact all of these experts by using the experts at DHIS2.org email address. So if you do have any questions about additional implementation work, make sure to have a look at this page. There is also a Facebook page. Here you can review some of the latest updates regarding various implementations and other information related to DHIS2. Have a look if you're interested. Of course, we can also be contacted by other informal means, including other messaging platforms. 
So there are some various ways that you can participate in ongoing DHIS2 development. You could suggest a feature by writing on the developer mailing list, by providing feedback within an academy, by arranging a call, or by making a suggestion in JIRA. Any of these mechanisms could be explored in order to add new features within DHIS2. There are also other ways that the community can contribute to DHIS2. You could consider writing documentation or use cases of your own specific implementation, providing support in translating the user interface to a local language, participate to the online mailing list that we have described earlier, develop a useful generic app or patch to be used in DHIS2, and promote DHIS2 in conferences. This ends this presentation on the DHIS2 community. Let us know if you have any questions about anything that we've discussed in this presentation.